on pole position at home in France, Cyril Raymond in the Peugeot 208. He hasn't had a win, he's had a third in Belgium and a fourth in Sweden. He missed the first round of the series in Thailand, yet he's right there. Christian Zabo, double Super 1600 European champion, moving up to Supercar, making his debut here in Supercar. He's on the front row, that's outrageously good. Reynis Nittish and Yeri Kaliokoski. Nittish doing a fantastic job. He also, of course, has won the Super 1600 title before. He'd love to add the Supercar title to that. Then we've got Anton Markland, the current champion, and Thomas Brinterson alongside him. Young driver who has uh, done some fantastic performances in RX2 and now in Supercar up in the Nordic series. So this is going to be fantastic. Very, very strong. You wouldn't be surprised to see these guys in the World Championship final. Zabo's got a brilliant start from the front row. Cyril Raymond has got enough to shut the door in him on turn one. Cyril Raymond moves out. Reynis Nixish is up the inside of Zabo. Zabo should be able to defend through the next corner. Markham trying to go with him. Markham wants to follow Nixish through here because it's Markham versus Nixish for the title fight. Kalio Koski having a look around the outside of Markham. Markham's trying to shut the door on the inside as well because Brinderson's having a look there. Where's Markham? There we go. He goes Joker. Markham goes Joker. Brinderson's gone with him. And that's pretty decent tactics, I think, as long as he doesn't come out and get held up by. Oh, Nixish! Nitish with a problem. The championship leader has got a problem. Nitish, we think, has got a puncture, and Markland is through. So Anton Markland is through, and this is going to keep the title fight alive, possibly to Latvia. It needs to be 30 points when he leaves here. Markland, we think, needs to win this, really. Oh, brain is Nitish. No, Dan. No, it's such a shame for him. You know, he could have been on the brink of uh, closing the title here, and uh, contact through the first few corners has just meant that, you know, he's got a problem with the car. And perfect move from Markland to go straight in the Joker out of the way of the problems and it's paid off for him. He could still win it here because we think Marker needs to be further ahead than he is. If it goes to count back in favor, if Raymond can get within 30 points, it's all to play for. Look at Zabo, fully lit through the joke lap. Zabo comes out in front. Raymond is uh, still leading, so Zabo is in front of Marker. And Marker really needs to win this to close that gap on Nittish as much as he can. So 30 points is what's available in Latvia. So yeah, big commitment there from Zabo coming out of the joke lap to make sure he secures his place in front of Markland. And uh, it, we can see Markland's got a pass up on the road if he wants to win this race. Cyril Raymond then at the minute is looking to take the title fight to Latvia. It's a really long shot anyway, but you never know what can happen. You know, the Euro field is very, very strong indeed. So Raymond at the minute will close the gap to under 30 points. Brainy's knee tissue was looking really relaxed just a few minutes ago. He's not going to be feeling very relaxed right now. Cyril Raymond, meanwhile, is looking to make his European supercar take you win in France, in a Peugeot, yes please. So yeah, Cyril's now, he's got his joker out of the way and he's 1.6 seconds clear, we can see on the timer screen, so uh, he's really given himself a, a good cushion behind him. You've raced Cyril, he's, he's amazing, isn't he? Yeah, he's superb, you know, every time I seek to find free temps, he found another free temp, so he is just super, super quick, very, very talented driver. Comes from a karting background, teaches karting, does he, down the Paul Ricard, does he, I think? He, he teaches karting, so he's in cars all the Obviously a go-kart, incredibly different from a supercar, but seat time, seat time, seat time. Yeah, to be driving something as, a, as your day job, it can't be so bad uh, for uh, when it comes to, you know, you're racing in the World Rally Cross or European Rally Cross. There you go, you can see the championship points at the minute. Even Markland would be in the fight. He'd have to go to Latvia and win there, and then that would go and count back if it's as it is. 30 points, as I say, is the gap that Nittich needed. Nittich will keep going, despite the fact we think it's the front right is deflated on the car. Possibly it's a technical with it, and we can't see. Is he going to struggle to turn it into the left? You can't see, it doesn't matter. Cyril Raymond out front, but still with another lap to go. So Raymond coming through. Zabo, great drive. Super 1600 hasn't done anything all year. Did the test at Latvia with the, uh, the battery back team and, and has come here and just done a fantastic job. Matthias Action was watching from the pre grid yesterday, just checking everything was going okay. And I'm really impressed, Dan. Yeah, yeah, it's super impressive. You know, it's come from a Super 600 car, you know, front wheel drive. You know, Cyril's obviously come from a RX2 car, just four wheel drive. So, you know, Zabo's going to have the four wheel drive to get used to as well as the extra power. Cyril Raymond has just a couple of corners to go. He was so disappointed not to win earlier on in the year, but what a place as a young French Rallycross superstar to make your debut win in the European Rallycross Championship of Supercar. Raymond crosses the line sideways to take the win, pitches the Peugeot into a spin to stop in front of the grandstand. The crowd like that, and the championship will go to Latvia. Cyril Raymond has closed the gap down to under 30 points. Nittish is still the odds-on favourite for the title. But as you've seen here, anything can happen. Rainis Nittish now coming round underneath the commentary position. There he is. 
I think it's a technical with the car. It doesn't look like anything's gone wrong, but no such problems for Raymond Weiser down up on top of the car. Thank you very much. This is where I want to make my debut win. Loving the crowd, loving Peugeot. Brilliant. They wouldn't mind seeing that repeated, would they, by Sebastian Loeb in the World Championship? Fantastic job, Sir Raymond. Double RX2 champion showing that that series has everything you need to train you to run at the very front of Supercar. Eight championship points to him. Christian Zabo on his Supercar debut. What a performance. Markland in P3 there, I think, will be within reach uh, when we go to Latvia, but would require a, a shocker for Nitish and, and a huge win for him. Brinterson, Kaliokoski, and Rainis Nitish, who we thought might go away from here as the champion. He's going to have to wait. He's going to try and do it at home in Latvia. So there is a three-way title fight in prospect in Latvia. Rainy Snittich, as I say, is 26 points clear. He's just got to get safely through qualifying, and he'll be crowned the European Rallycross champion for supercars at home in Latvia. But this is by no means a foregone conclusion. You'll have to join us in a fortnight's time to see what happens in Riga.